I thought I'd do a brief screencast on using the graphing calculator to compute probabilities using the binomial distribution because that's a lot of what chapter 5 is about. Um, so I picked out a problem here. Let me uh, first note what it is. Uh, first, we're in section 5.3, and this is on page 226, and this is problem number 30. So let's first take a look at it. It says the uh, brand name of McDonald's has a 95% recognition rate. If a McDonald's executive wants to verify the rate by beginning with a small sample of 15 randomly selected customers, find the probability that exactly 13 of the 15 customers recognize the McDonald's brand name. And then it says also find the probability that the number who recognized the, the brand name is not 13. So let's, uh, we'll call that part A and part B as we go along here. So first, let's write down what we know. First, we know that the probability of success, in, in this case, it means the probability that we recognize the brand name is 0.95. And here, the sample size is going to be 15. So what we want then is the probability that our binomial random variable is exactly 13. So if we use the binomial probability formula for that, think of what that is, that would be the combination 15 choose 13 times p to the x, right? So that would be 0.95 to the 13th power times q to the n minus x. Well, if p is uh, 0.95, that would make q, in other words, the probability of failure, 0.05, and n minus x, that would be 15 minus 13, or just 2. So the first way we want to compute the probability is to just use this probability uh, distribution function and evaluate the terms we have here. So let me pull up the calculator to do that. And the first thing we have to do is to compute the combination 15 choose 13. So to do that, we'll just simply type in 15, and then tap the math key, and then go over to the probability menu on the right side. The third option there is the combination that you see. And now we'll switch over and put in the end value of 13. Let me switch to large screen so you can see the rest. Then we're going to multiply by 0.95, that's P, and then we're going to take it to the X power, the 13th, times 0.05 raised to the second power. And if we evaluate that, notice what we get, uh, 0.135. So let's go ahead and write that down now, 0.135. Um, now, uh, uh, that takes care of the probability there. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention real quick is uh, the convention the textbook uses is to round binomial probabilities to three decimal places. So uh, you can do you can go further than that if you like. But if you want to match the answers in the back of the text, you can do that. Now, to find the probability that x is not 13, think of what we have to do. We have to compute the complement of the event that we just found. So that's 1 minus 0.135. So let's go ahead and compute that now. 1 minus 0.135. And so that's going to be 0.865. So that means the probability that we don't get 13 uh, that, has, that recognizes the brand name McDonald's is going to be what, about 86.5%. Now, one more way I want to show you how to compute this uh, binomial probability that's uh, really kind of nifty and, and is really a time saver for us. Uh, let me go to the uh, screen history here and show you what we want to look at, and that's the distribution menu. And notice that's right here above the variables key. So to get that distribution men menu, we hit second and then the VARS button. And that gives us this distribution menu. Now, my TI-84, I can just scroll down until I get to 
binomial PDF. That stands for binomial probability distribution function. And that's A on my, my, my calculator. If you have a TID3, it might be a little bit different. Um, so all we have to do is to highlight that, hit the Enter key. Now we have to put in our parameters. First, um, N is 15, and then a comma, that's right above the 7. And then the probability of success, 0.95, then another comma, and then our x value, which here is 13. We'll close the parentheses and hit the enter key, and notice we get exactly the same answer as we had before. So there's two ways to compute these binomial probabilities. You can evaluate it using the probability distribution uh, function that we talked about in uh, the first way, or the second way use this distribution menu with the binomial uh, uh, probability density function. So either way is, you can, you, either way, uh, is, is uh, you, know, you can do. This way is a little bit easier, I think, if you just 